Hey everyone, Russell Comic here, and welcome to this, this week's Sunday Fun Day video. Where today we'll get my updated Arcane Knights deck profile. I've changed this to where it kind of works. It's still a work in progress, we'll say, for now. Then let's just get the deck profile. Yes, this is some problem with this. So we were on a pair of Queen's Knights, who is your main centerpiece of the deck for the main deck, at least. If any of the other ones is an idiot. Next up, a pair of King's Knights, who as such is, when you have Queen's Knight, fill them with Scarlet Noble Summon, you special summon a Jack's Knight from the deck. Hats only a deck those hand out a lot, lot better, but uh, gets there eventually. So we have a pair of Arm Sage. This is supposed to be a Sen Sage, but I don't have a Sen Sage currently, so that's a bit of a sad thing. I'm sorry, a fan. This one does is allows you to win she's for over unit as a Toby Monster, Toby Monster. It allows you to add a Sex Weapon from deck to hand. If your target's first card, possibly you want a Sen Sage, which allows you to add the regular spell card in the deck for those deck spinning combos, which, which I do not currently own, but they yeah, don't do Sticking with the set pack Sand Topias, we have a pair of Astral Topias, which is, allows you to tribute a monster on your side of the field to so fill our hand to add a number. Now we should add a, sorry, add an Xyz, Topia, Zexel, or Number Spell Trap from your hand, sorry, from deck to hand. No, in this case, you would use it to find Xyz Change Tactics, or in my case, Number, Tactics or Numbers Protection. There are two of these for that exact reason. For my extra Topia package, because that's a room. With this, we have, oops, wrong. I have two left hand sharks. The effect is when scars are summoned from the graveyard, it becomes a level four. And its effect is the scars in the graveyard while I control right hand shark, you summon it from the graveyard. Since it's an effect. And I need to use some senior you what do. Uh you should scar, but also let's advance with the field. And if it says it's used by using Man in the Sky and Brian Shark. It cannot be destroyed by battle. Yes. It's not controlled by card effects. Sorry. Which is very good in case you are bringing us one of those heavy decks. Have an interesting tech choice for me, for me at least is I run the Egg Sisters. I uh, run three. I have uh, Stella, Iodine, and Sophia. What Stella allows you to do is you control what I don't have. But if her and I want to go to gain our life points, so you do is on your main face, so this one, another one of your accessory monsters. And then you go doing a rank 4. Or, as their main archetypal gimmick is, if your opponent were to move a monster from the grave, from the grave over here, you can't see, from the grave, from the grave, from the graveyard, you then immediately exceed some this car, this card into it. Then exceed so the monster by itself. Now, Irene's is if you have Sophia here, you get her life points. Plus, I effect, and I can't remember what that one is. Also, Irene here allows you to take one of your extra non spell cards, put them on the bottom of your deck, and then read our card. Now Sophia here. It also says you can control this monster between Irene or Stella or any other ones. You can draw a card. It's not bad. It's wasted itself immediately. You control Irene, you can pay your life points. So you're getting your life points, sorry, I read it wrong. And put Woo's Oon. And the actual one you're going to get is you a monster from the graveyard. Over here. If you feel like you didn't this card and turn this monster of its said archetype. That's their archetypal gimmick, basically.
I saw Fast Mouse return. I have a strange thing for me. These are our SNR index targets. We have a Drakime, Virtual World Hime, Nyan Nyan. What you to do is if he if he was in the graveyard and you for someone or someone a type monster, so somewhere straight from the graveyard. Sorry, straight from the graveyard, it's become a tuner, but she's banished when she leaves the field. She's really only in here for our uh, race these monsters because I don't currently have the excellent cards needed for these monsters. Synchro. Now for our main deck hand traps. Uh, got a lot. We run a Ghost Ogre. This, this is an interesting type option, which is Ghost Sister. Ghost Warren Cherries. Ghost Mourner. And Valor. Ghost Ogre is an e target that plus allows you to negate and destroy the effect of a monster that will show itself or a spell type drop that was supposed to be a monster. This is really what allows you to gain life points or transfer to the monster turn. Very nice fix. It has like to reveal a card in extra deck, banish it, and then the opponent's extra deck to banish one card. They can they the same one. And Ghost Mortar is basically a Valor again, but has to be the monster to summon to get its effects. Which isn't that bad. Also, for that, with a Mortar, if the same monster were to leave the field, your opponent takes life point damage equal to that monster's attack points. And for our god cards, we are running one Cypher, one Sphere Mode, and one the Wing Dragon of Raw. I said I had a premium gold version of the Wing Dragon Raw as our original one, so I lost it. If no one plays it, this is just a gag. So for the monster requiring 50 roots, Sphere Mode for the field. Such so it is against 1,000 points per card in your hand. Plus, if it costs to normal summon a monster, Type vision, not just one monster type vision. It'll decrease their set attack points for 2000 and close to zero to being destroyed. Uh, it's really you can start most on the field on your own by turning three monsters, and then during your next turn, it goes on your opponent's side, or come out your turn, your your field. They trip this card immediately to summon up the winged on roll and give 4,000 attack points. And draw has effects to where you can pay all but 100 life points in order to give it that much attack points, or until you can pay one. Hundred life points, just right one card. Charge just right one card on the field. Next up for our sexual weapons, we have a second copy of Twin Sabers, Turnbringer, and Lightning Blade. Twin Saber in this case is your brick, because it cannot be equipped to utility from the hand, which does make it suck. These two you can equip from the hand. Any sort of ones you most want to add off your uh, sensei arm sage in this case. Mm -hmm. Now, Twister allows you to do is it gains use your utility monster on top points. At least we see a once per turn monster. I guess it uh, sends off as a once per uh, monster negate. Turn your brain gives it 1200, so 1300 attack point boost. But at the same time, it makes it uninstalled by card effects. And Lightning Blade gives it 1200 attack point boost. Looks like untargetable by card effects. So these three together gives it a gate. It's untargetable, it's untargetable and untargetable by said card effects. Let's see. For our side of our shark package, we have a single color Orion shark. So it is one of card. Is this one suddenly you can add one left hand shark from your hand. So deck to hand. And this card's in the graveyard. You can control the monster, you some card, but mess with the field. And if this card uses four enemies, someone with a season monster, leaves in waters, that card cannot be destroyed by battle. Yes. So, turn. Fall Knight, which is Jack's Knight. He's getting our brick. Spells, uh, since I don't run a Sensage, I have two copies of Toy Force. Now, what's allows you to do is if you were to XZ summon, oh sorry, get this card and rank up any rank 9 or low utility monster into a rank 12. Of course, that's the thing to just to say that one. Some materials. This card, if you were to summon a number monster or monster from the extra deck using 
that said monster duo, because it's being dragon artifact. You can then take this card and equip it underneath the card as an overlay unit. Both of are once per turn. I thought I was going to be able to do this deck, by the way. Further in God Package, we have a pair of Thunder Summon, which allows you to Tribute Summon a level 10 monster during a main battle phase. Or if you control Queen's Knight, King's Knight, and Jack's Knight, you can then add a level 10 non dark from deck to hand. Then we can start summon a level 10 non dark cluster mark attack monster. It's being your Star Sky Dragon, your, uh, sorry, Servo Mode. Or if we're running it, we're creating a Triumph Joker. Immediately during some plays if need be. As a this, we are we have a two copies of Etelli. These are for your Nyan Nyan and your Ghost Ogre. For you to summon a level three or lower. So that monster from your great deck, but banish it after the end phase of this turn. So you forget down to your Ghost Ogre and your Yan Yan in case you do need to go into your synchro plays on the cards in the extra deck. So you have a Sikabe Gold Sark. In this case, you can't immediately draw your to Force in open hand. If you're running Sensei, you don't need this card or the second Utopia Force. This one here until I get the sensators. Those I won't need this. But all you do is to take a card from your deck, banish it, and you get back in two turns. Have is a solo card. We have our swords revealing light. Which just does it. Top to top, both from sides, blocking back you for three full turns. Foolish Burial. This is for your... In the full version deck, it's for a different card, but here it's for your left hand sharks, and these are in the graveyard. So then use this from the graveyard, so use it from the hand, which is a lot better. This is the side. We have Fester, Dark Ronald Moore, and Rhoda. Source from the back row. This is for your monster effects during your turn alone. Uh, th 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 this here is supposed to be a free droplets, but I can't afford that currently. And you guys can copy Roto just in case you don't get one of your monsters you need in your hand in your starting hand. So that's a tripod. Next for our traps, we have a dual copy of permanence. Let's go to us. Yeah, you can not need for your hand control the cards, so let's give it a sec one second. It was going first, or if it's set beforehand, it then negates all spell talk cards in its column. Which is good, because a lot of people sometimes forget the Imperm column. These cards including Dual Joker's Wild. This is to get, in case you need to, to get your Thunder Speed Summon into the graveyard. These effect immediately on your turn. Or if I had to, you just use Joker straight with this as well to get this effect during your opponent's turn to quickly get out any card you may need. I'll scar as really too. If it's in the graveyard during end phase, or during the end phase, you can shuffle into your, you can add your hand by shuffling in one of the three stars going in a light warrior monster. That's another weird choice of deck, but I'm wearing a seen copy of Torrential Tribute. Collector's rare, by the way. This is when monsters summoned, you then just use them blow up the field full of monsters. Because they're off with Stopia Affection. It says if you told a normal monster one point would almost do anything, you can then just negate and destroy it. And scroll in the graveyard and your another monster would be destroyed. Uh, car effect, it's custom graveyard, you may reset it, but it's banished when it's a field. So except, except we have a single copy of Fortune Lady Every. I'll say it's my weird choice for this. Because it's, it's, it's another level 7 synchro you can get 
still single scene game, don't you? I have that scene. Okay, sort of. It's a little slow. This, this card gains... What, 400? Mm, yeah, 4 attack. He says four attack for a little task, so it's supposed to be so it's one hundred. But your stamp is against another level, and then I think something gains that level, you can then banish one monster your pawn controls. Okay, so we're over the story, you can banish the spellcaster from, from the graveyard. Bring it back, and it's like one of a few spellcasters. Have his Cypher and Omega. Which allows you to sell out cards from your deck from your regular hand or banish cards to opponent's hand for a bit. Then for excess, then for uh, see what else we have. Also, feel, Chipline, and Caspitel. Also, if you hear when she's exe summoned, they have the same artifact effect of being exe summoned with exos and monster underneath them. Their effects. Because also feel here, she has the ability to declare one card name and that monster take card's effect cannot be used that turn. Monster effect. Also, near player can do so far can do anything with the graveyard for that turn. Jibline. Let me show you. So sorry, sorry, Jibline has the so this one has the monster negate effect. Also feel So I feel it's just the player can debate gear effects, return, and just one material to return a monster from the opponent's opponent's field to the hand. Jabrines is you scare work scare one card name to get your fair turn. And this material always wants to gain four hundred gain to gain our attack points. And Castell's try to have something I can't read anymore. And you can some monster from the graveyard for the turn, any type of material from this card. To add one instant monster from your hand to your deck. So you do in this one's case, you get a person to bring out, you can use your unneeded accessor. Not being still because he's the one you're gonna go with first off. So this is supposed to be an Irene, and you can go into her immediately the add one you don't have in your hand. They may normal summon Stella, sorry. And then, alright, let's summon out the other one which you don't need. In order to go into in order to finish the rest of your plays. Then for our top package, we have Ultimate Utopia Ray. Which is it, just count as number sign of Utopia Ray. The effect is, you, attach, you can detach one Z material from this card. In order to equip to itself a successful a monster from deck or actually deck, it's equipped by also effect. Plus, once per turn, you can target one monster one controls, negate its effect, and cut stat points in half. So it isn't bad when in choice moments it gets actually good to get some decks. Here we have Utopic Sage, which allows you to check two materials in order to summon a uh, Settlement or ZS monster from deck. ZS on only a Sense Sage or Arm Sage in my case. Then you discard either on the field or in the graveyard. You can banish it to protect when your total monsters can be destroyed by battle or card effects. Except self. That's just on the camera. Your boss of the deck. Number 99, Utopia Dragon R. Effect is you can attach two materials. In order to special a no monster from 1 to 100 from extra deck. Also, battle tracks well to where you put your hero between. You have that with a point work to try attack a monster, you can then take the target monster and turn staff points down to zero. Also, also the scarf is still sucking to see monsters, but there's your main question you can use. This is my tech choice for the full of it, which is. Number 89, Diablos the Mind Hacker. Which effect reads, you can attach one of these Neutrons card, two of points extra deck, and banish one of their cards face down. There's a reason it's called a prize card, and that's one of them. Secondly, if this card were to destroy a card by battle, 
You can then banish a car from your opponent's graveyard face down. Then if a car was banished, your opponent controls. Except during damage step, you can then banish that many cards face down from your opponent's deck. That's kinda broken. Hmm. That's long. Classic. 41 boost tier for the tapir. Which is if some type of position your opponent can't destroy a battle, and if some position air wants defense, and your opponent's effects are negated, they were in defense. Step three of number four, Stealth Kraken. That was it's Kraken, not Kraken. Kraken. It's Kraken, not Kraken. What you do is you can ditch one, ditch one, return from this card. Uh, first off, this card's effect turns every card into little water. Or attribute. Then you attach one material from this card. You know, try one monster point controls and destroy. Try one water monster point controls and destroy it. So you're introducing water. Do that easy. Which one's Dragon R? We have. Prime, which this fight isn't really useful here. It's where you can get attached to all materials. And it's. If that's very useful, it's fight is really just. You might have to be strong conditioning to detach, do something to make like points lower, just 10. Which I'm like. Let's see here. Your monster are at least, at least 2,000 higher than yours. You detach one, detach two monsters from this card, and battle points so that you only have 10 left. Yes, 10. You can read that for yourself. Destroy as many cards. Mm. So some monsters your opponent controls as possible, and if you do, banish them. They inflict 300 damage to your opponent for each monster banished. That's not really useful, you reach DC Golden Dragon R. <laughs> then we have dual copies of Utopia. The fact is, you touch them to your opponent to begin attack, and some materials able to slip up. So we're on deck for now is Masquerina. Those are two. Uh, I think someone on your opponent's turn, which not reason that episode here is just just in case you need it. Now for the side deck, third hard. We run the Horizon of Dulancia and Sally a single side. These are your opponent banishing, so these are really good against Flo and Louise, and this is against basically everything else. Got this watch your opponent. Option which is Vanish Sage. It basically allows you, if you control a total monster, you can see draw a card, I think, Vanish something. Or, uh, no, I'm not actually doing build. Yeah, you draw one card. You have a total total monster, you can draw one card. It was banished during the battle phase, except during damage step. You can banish this card from the field, then target one of those banished monsters, but summon itself. And if you're doing banish one monster, one controls. Lost tag. So let's say we lost tag. So that's the game. So this card says if you draw your Toby Monster and special itself, draw a card, that card will be banished. Sometimes so if you didn't banish this card and pull monster control so that's attack, that isn't that hard. And you know yellow fun? Let's do the tech option though, it's not good here for us. For time case we have a Pink Spell, which is if you put two monster to be monster. I think it's Ray, isn't it? Mine's playing against ours, and knows what. Yes, Ray. Then, if you were to destroy a monster by battle, you can inflict 300 damage to your opponent, so it's just case you need it in time. Yes. That's a copy of Ghost Trooper. Flexing here, we got. Triple Twin Twisters. Sky card, start to cross in the field, up to two. Flex all there. Lion Storm, beer bull beer bull the monsters back row. Regeki, same bull monsters. Talents. Let's hear your draw two, Project Greek style, Tender Heart, or Confiscation or whatever the card is. That's your opponent, like hand touch you during your turn. So you have a solemn morning. The only plan is to draw a discharge, which 
This point where you draw cards, you can then steal those cards and the limit monsters to take damage equal to the monster attack points. And they get banished. Edge Barrier. Those certain matchups. Next, I failed to do it last time. We're going to do a bit of a combo tutorial. Sorry, combo tutorial snap. A full combo, but it's a bit of a combo. I got this fast one time. So, see? Your combo's here. Fast what happened. This custom combo, again, don't need to have a certain card in here. This card is Astopia, Ryan Shark, Rare Match Card, but don't need to have a and Force Barrel. So, in this case, you would activate your said Foolish Burial in order to send your left hand shark to the graveyard. Then you would normal summon your right hand shark, activating left hand shark to find the graveyard, in the back, go into a four, you then overlay them both for your topic stage. It's sort of like back card decks. The thing you do is you judge two itself to go back into your deck. Go about your arm stage. The thing you use you just effects is you just fill it, special itself. I missed here first. Agent just for effect, you can then just try to destroy the center of this open door graveyard. To then add from your deck to hand your destruction. They can overlay these two on top of each other. In order to bring out your Utopia. In case you don't see sensei, you could just add this to hand now. Because we're using Arm Sage, we use a different effect. We're using its effect, we can then add a sort of effect to hand. So in this case, we're going to grab ourselves a lightning blade. Get to hand. The thing we do is then rank up into your prime by using your record spell card targeting itself. So targeting your prime, you then go into Dragonar. In this case, then you would immediately detach two. In this case, let's go the to bust out your Toby Ray. If you any of them, because there's no deck one work, because you'd be locked into lights. It's the right way. We didn't. Now your friends in graveyard attach itself to this as an old unit. But when you mean to attach it, in order to equip to your here your twin saber. Equip your lightning blade from hand to itself. So you're bringing it up to a total of 4700. Then you can really set this from your hand. So it's not a bad starting first turn field. It's really. Still have something to do better than zero. Don't want to negate. Counter counter artifacts and a bonus negate if need be. Let's do more this though. Now in this combo's case, all you need is these cards again, and then any Exorcer plus Stella. What you do is you normal summon Stella. Gear effect, you summon, you summon your Sophia, which allows you to draw a random card. Take your hand, you can overlay them both, each other, again, for Sage, attaching two, so that your arm Sage, effect again, overlay. Topia. So I'm going to show you the Astrobe effect to get rid of this. Add this to hand. Sorry. Go into Prime. This again. Dragonar. And you know this works. The combos here are only really differ in what cards you're using as the original materials 
for your Utopia. If you want to stall out, you can try using the Knight's Nest version. So if you're trying to hold the Joker straight, it's easier. So yes, fun. Just for guys, for quick effect. So if need be, you can do a tunnel string attached to these to get that one out. I'm guessing. I'm guessing you get multiple updates. And so that was the file update. It's Sunday fun day. I'll see you tomorrow for a Minecraft Let's Play. See ya.